So what's oh. what's it gonna be? We see nine staring at the screen. Who's I would imagine his role is normally like he's normally Insane. pretty quiet during the draft. Hmm? What? Called it. I was trying to guess whose whose body it was off the hand. Really? Yeah. Did you did you guess right? I, I did guess hear. right. You did. Insania is probably one of the hairier of the <laughs> 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 players. So uh, okay. Kind of an easy one. You know a man of yeah, some right. hair. Yeah, I want to talk. <laughs> yeah. We know Wait, am I playing for liquid? <laughs> <laughs> you know, hair game, respect another hair game. <laughs> uh, Let's see if we get another uh, another yeah, test. Yeah, I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, the Omni Knight. Yeah. Uh, Boxy has been playing a variety of heroes. In fact, uh, so uh, during the group stage, Boxy had played a different hero every single game. I don't know if San King was a duplicate or not, but he was doing all sorts of wacky stuff. He was playing Mars one game. So he's proven to be very versatile. I know Blitz changed his Steam name to be Boxy Fan, Ooh. Yeah. I believe. So he is definitely have a soft spot for yep. that player. And Tusk, hero mm. I have not seen at all. Often paired with AA, though. If you, this is yes. like going back many a patches, but mm -hmm. this was a very common support duo for a it period of time. It was the Boxy Puck, right? Not SK. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did play yeah. Puck so once that was in a the... Yeah. It was a duplicate. Okay, game. so... Yeah. I, I got me so. all confused. I like the Tusk, though. It's nice and active. Yeah. Gives him a save against Axe. That's always one of the things you want to have, if possible, if it can fit. He was um, was Tiger the one that said he wanted to be number one Tusk? I think when? so. Dream League. Oh. I think yeah. I think we did an interview with him, and he's like, "Tusk's gonna be my hero. I want uh, like he wants he to, to be the number one. He has to beat Jerax at it first. Oh, I, I, I was thinking Fy. Oh, F <laughs> okay. Yeah, those. But Jerax is uh, that's true. Yeah. So there's some big shoes to fill if yes. you want to do yeah. that. <laughs> there's the Marana. But yeah, Jerax was ignored. like the original. Yeah, yeah Jerax right. was. Yeah. I. I find Jarex to be the most memorable because he was the first one to start cliffing himself with shards mm -hmm. on a consistent basis. You'd see it occasionally from all Tusk players, but he could do it like guaranteed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. You gotta practice that quite a bit in the private lobbies. I, would I asked him about it. He yeah. So his strat is basically, you see there's uh, whenever you have your hero selected, there's a little green circle at the bottom of your hero and you just click inside that green circle and you'll reverse shard yourself every time. Cliffing it takes like angles and directional movement and stuff like that, but getting in front of the shards, you'll you'll see the green circle, you target it inside the green circle, <laughs> and you'll always end up in front of it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Now I'm expecting more a enough. lot more of those plays in my pubs. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. <laughs> it's a lot easier said than done, as you said, requires yeah. practice, but yeah. that's the consistent method that he uses. And Legion Commander picked up. So, so why did they ban out the Omni? Do you think? Uh, I mean, Boxy played it once before. Okay. Just uh, throw the GA when Void Chronos, and yeah. there's the Moo Classic. Yeah. Hey. We're gonna Although, I, well, I guess Nine, nine also nine plays it. Nine also yes. plays yeah, it. You're in. So yeah. it just depends, I suppose, on uh -huh. what you want to do for your one position. You do know you are looking at a melee matchup against either Legion, Commander, or Void, depending if, if Timber goes to the side True. lane. Yeah. But we'll see what that leads to. Probably an OD ban, I would expect. A good hero to yes. round out Liquid's draft and an obvious counter to the Timber Saw and, and the Axe. Yep. The Astral and save. And the arrows yep. as well. Oh, maybe that's why they banned out the Omni. So they wanted one dispel from arrow setups. Uh, Legion is another dispel. Mm -hmm. Abaddon, I guess they rate Legion more highly than Abaddon. Yep. And seeing as how J-Storm also banned out Shadow Demon, I wouldn't be surprised if they want to avoid having to deal with banishes. So it mm -hmm. seems to me like OD <coughs> seems a logical ban. Do you need a setup for the arrow? I mean, I um. know Legion's probably going to get it off anyway, but mm. like they're kind of lacking any other disable other than the arrow. A call? Call, yeah, that's the only real thing. Yeah, you don't... I don't think you can necessarily pick your mid with that idea in mind. Maybe there's some heroes like Ember Spirit that could be good, but you mm -hmm. need a mid that scales well. If you're running yeah. a one-position Timbersaw... Um, what is yeah. that drawing? The <laughs> money boat. Tinker. That's so intentional. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Was that? He was waiting for the yeah, camera to come really to him. Was. <laughs> that was, uh, it was some Reddit shitpost of when it showed uh, OG in their booth. 
and it was like like a no tail furiously tapping on his sheet. Oh, yeah. And then like someone made up a fake sheet where it just says give Anna Ember and then everyone's on a boat with <laughs> TI oh. money or something like I that. I saw it said something hater or something. I thought it oh, said maybe. something tinker. Oh, tinker. I just saw oh, a boat. Okay. We yeah, well, the boat was on the le on the right You're side right. and the, the, the tinker and something else oh. in front of it or whatever the text it may have said. Whatever hero, because for, for the OG shitpost, it was Anna Ember. And so whatever ah. hero that they think will carry them to victory. Well, it was maybe not Maybe it was Temple <laughs> There's your kind of scaling mid. If you want to run a one-position Timber Sword, the Moo Classic, you need a mid that yeah. can actually deal physical damage, theoretically, or at least be a carry. And they ban out the uh, Koifa Razor. Oh. I can't believe how fat that Razor got previous game. Yeah, they're, they're really set on giving TA a good lane. My worry is OD just looks amazing for yeah. Liquid right now. I I I he doesn't do great against Templar, but I think you're okay it's with that. It's just, yeah, the fact that it does so well in the game you're right. against... Axe, Timbersaw, save against the arrow. I don't know what are the other options necessarily. It Maybe just depends if you want to counter TA in lane. Oh, okay. Storm, Blitz is like, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, this is also liquid. These guys already love Storm. Uh, yeah, they before do. Blitz yes. came along, they yes. were like first twoing Storm. So. Uh, will jam that hero in yeah, yeah. any opportunity he gets. Yep. And he gets the cosign from Bliss. It's like, let's do it. You, I can beat Templar Assassin. You think I can beat Templar Assassin? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the draft is kind of working out in terms of who plays what and where the way we thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. But the question is, is this better mm. from JStorm? Like, we criticized their draft heavily yeah. previous mm -hmm. game. Did they redeem themselves? Very much so. Okay. I, I think that... There's no one hero on Liquid that I can say outright counters mm -hmm. J-Storm. Uh, mm -hmm. At best, maybe Taiga with the Banish is going to be really good against the arrows and the axe calls and stuff like that. But beyond that, there's nothing as irritating as Lycan having to deal with like the four stuns yeah. that Liquid had last time. It's a much more well-rounded draft. It's, it's, just, it's a different direction. My big worry is Brax on axe needs to have a really good game. He is their, mm -hmm. he's their stun. He's their sub. He needs to get a good time on his Blink Dagger, and he's potentially versing like a really tough lane, like the Void AA, Tusk can always help as well, That there's so much kill potential here, uh, they need to find a way to give Brax a good game. I must say, Koifa in his Liquid jersey reminds me a lot of Mind Control. I can see mm -hmm. that, yeah. It's like at first glance, I mean obviously the, the, the headset issue, chubby cheeks, you know. a little yeah. bit, just want to pinch him. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> except, except mind control is always more like this he's just chilling during the draft no but he but this wasn't during the draft this was you know he's done he's ready to go yeah. he was <laughs> adjusting you know that's right, normally right, what right. mind control does like that's over time to play <laughs> oh uh, let's uh, let's find out what's going to happen here in game number two of the series upper bracket who goes uh, forward upwards and who goes forward downwards or lower words lower mm -hmm. bracket over to uh, LD and Fogged. Let's go onwards into the game. Fogged game at number two is upon us. It you is? said you were going to go in if you saw the Lycan. It you did not there. see the Lycan. I did not see the Lycan. I'm very happy. So you don't have to go in. But Only uh, Lycan for I said Lycan first, too. Yes, I, yes. I had that, that is true. That's true. Yeah. That would have been like. Yeah, beating your head against a brick wall. Yeah, Shiver almost called you Owen there. Just gonna, just gonna point that out there. Maybe. I mean, maybe. All know. right, just kidding. Maybe not. Just kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> we're both dashing. Or maybe Parker. Maybe something along those lines. But <laughs> he might have a little more hair than me. Maybe. Actually, <laughs> both of them might have a little more hair. Than me. Come on, dude. What Insania. I like in hair, I make up for in something. Nice else. pushback by this Fear. This is gonna be your first blood. Ah, uh, yep. Ooh. One more auto attack gets the kill. And All the right, fairy fire. Storm. Off to a great start. Yeah. I like that they did th what... Uh, I mean, they kind of did this last game, but they didn't have great heroes for it. This time they have heroes they can kill because they have the battle hunger early on, so they can set up for that first blood with that tri-aggressive that we saw Liquid do last time when they set up for themselves for a first blood. Already looking a lot better for Jay Storm here in game two. Yeah. You know, feels like they have a lineup that has plenty of power spikes throughout the game. They've got some Roche potential, mm -hmm. good strong lanes, some ganks. The panel was most concerned about this Brax Axe, but you know, it looks like they're securing his lane early. Brax Axe? Axe, 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 Axe? The Brax Axe. Axe, Axe, Axe. Oh, man. <laughs> Remember his name used to be Brax Axe, Axe, Axe? That's, a, that's an old school <laughs> one. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I definitely like the Axe. I think it uh, works really well as, as well with uh, Coddle. You know, you put down the Will O Wisp, you call, either protect it or keep them inside of it for it to flicker again. Um, there's also some neat combos they do have coming out with the Coddle. 
Cottle plus oh, Axe nice. is really strong. Is Insania. Insania. He's on the feet train here. No Fairy Fire this time. And Brax takes the last hit this time. Punches him down. Yep. And Moose should be okay. You know, it's just a Legion Commander versus a melee uh, Timber Saw, so could definitely take these fights. I'm mostly going to gonna, tell. mostly going to be watching the mid lane because I think there's a lot of potential for outplaying here. As a storm, you hit level three, you get the point in the vortex, and you can pull the TA and even go for like setup kills. Quite for, very familiar with this matchup, and he's eight and five to zero. Wait, a one one zero of the TA. Wait, that's uh, it's not supposed to be this bad, right? No, I mean TA still does okay in it, but storm you can last hit just fine. Like you 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 break two refraction with your overload hits. Uh, Nine's got to find a way back into this lane. They they do have some roaming potential if. Moose wants to make his way over there before the storm hits six. Yep. Try and set up an arrow kill. So not all is lost, but it is a rough beginning. Yep. That is for sure. Oh, Nine's trying to take the fight to him, but quickly bursting him low. And on th this top lane, action breaking out. Moo diving onto Boxy. Has he overextended, fighting in only the level one reactive armor, but it's enough to force Boxy back. Left the salve up. Everybody's low. Nobody's dead just yet. Koikva actually does not get the pull at level 3. Nine will get pushed toward a haster in top. Don't think he's going to use that to move anywhere else. But yeah, this is an interesting lane positioning here, as we tend to see versus Timber Saws. Yeah, and as cutting. they get more levels here, you know, I imagine the Timber is going to get more and more aggressive. Yeah. It did take a lot of early harass from Boxy. It's a super strong lane we see right there. The Koikva being dove in the mid lane. Can Nine Ooh. finish him off? Pops the Fairy Fire, keeps on juking, gets up the Remnant. I don't know if he's got the damage for this, Giannis. He's going to have to back away. He's quite low. Ooh, we'll live. Meanwhile, bottom, Arrow onto Insania. But Insania also managed to get Brax low as he was tanking the Creep Wave. Mickey's joining this. Suddenly, three heroes for Liquid coming in. Moose leaps out. Mickey's there to greet him. The call, though, will pull in the toss. Doesn't get the spins he needs. So they lose the Ancient Apparition. All right, I'm Insane liking this game a lot. Already. This is Three great. Brax this time. Stepped a bit far now afterwards and will be... Uh, he's okay. It's not the not the creep Moose was hoping for, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'll take it. Mid yeah. lane, mid lane. Oh! oh! No! Yeah. TA needed that one. That would have, like, completely turned the lane around. And she has caught up in CS decently. And this is why I was saying I want to watch the mid lane, right? This is what I'm talking about. This is a fun one. You have two players that are very familiar with the matchup. You will always have those type of battles happen out. See who can get the little little bit of damage advantage. Koifa coming out ahead. And now he's got his bottle. Four minute runes coming soon. Nine meanwhile. Just the stick and the mango. So no regen really. A lot of action. I mean, even bottom, they're trading blows again. It's just been nonstop to start this game. Boxy's dragging a huge wave up top. I don't even know where to look. <laughs> Much more fun of a game this time around, that's for sure. Uh, we're battling. What the hell is that? Is that the Legion taunt? I think so. That is absurdly you absurd. You feel like you have a, a small orchestra in your, in your eardrum? I was looking at Axe when I heard it, so I was like, wait, what the heck is going on right now? Axe is playing some... Rallying call. As Boxy will get forced away. Does have the wave here. Fear. Gonna keep trying to mess with him a bit. Even get some denies. And oh. Oh. Fear. Playing very deep. Is <laughs> him and his merry band of creeps. Taiga has no TP available. He's still going moment. with these auto attacks. Blinding light. No CS for you, sir. And now he's dragging a wave. <laughs> and Brax is watching from the offlane, giving him some moral support. <laughs> Trying to just hit creeps. Uh, so Moose did rotate mid. I think he wanted to set up on the storm, but Taiga was around, and it uh, looks like the gank will not materialize. So he heads back bottom where Taiga sees him. Bounty runes. Looks like, I mean, it looks like J Storm's going to get all four. Wow. That's big. That is, that is massive. They're putting pressure on their lanes. They're getting the runes too. Brax. Are they going to lose Brax, or is he going to get a couple of kills here? He's got a call. He's got some help. One down. Are they going to get more? Mickey's trying to fight it out. They need some bashes. Battle Hunger comes through. One more auto attack. It's not enough. Mickey's in danger here. Moose has the arrow. He's going to turn back for the safer, easier kill. Go for the Ancient Apparition. Snowball in. Will and Brax. A bit of hubris for him. 
And Moose now still trying to find that Insania pickoff. He's going to have one more leap. Oh. Gets to the high ground. Almost got corralled in with the tree there instead. Regen bottling up. Whiffs the arrow. Still goes down. We'll have some time to think about that one. Nice play by Taiga. Even the little picking up the AA inside the snowball there, maybe oh, saving the his life for robot, a second. They didn't get it. Oh, yeah, they didn't get that uh, uh, fourth I one. Think is Taiga assuming they already did, I guess? Probably, yeah. <laughs> He's just looking at the regular rune, but no one's actually checking it out. So let's stay for a moment. Muzo has a bottle, though, so he'll probably go get that one now. Woo, four to four, six minutes in. Action packed. Could have been like three more kills, probably. Yep. Brax, he's isolated down by bottom. Mike, kind of playing around. He's a bit afraid of these spins. Oh, arrow comes in though. Big connection on the Tuscar. He shoots and he scores. And now Mickey's got to back off. Ooh, he Dangerous was trying to. Low. He was trying to hit him over the shards, but he actually couldn't. And yeah, he's scared. That level three spin. It's intimidating with Brax having these early phase boots on too. Yeah, that extra bit of armor, very nice. Yeah. And Mu is maybe the real winner here because he's just be in between the towers. His old TI staple is back, taking the fight to Boxy and keeping the pressure up. Leader in net worth, 48 CS, so Jay Storm, there are three cores topping the net worth charts. The Marana is almost even with the Void, in fact. That's pretty insane. Yeah. In fact, they have four of the top five. Mid lane. Just like that. They're going to go on nine, though. This could really turn things around. Has the fresh refraction. They jump up. They commit. Nine. Sentry com drops down just to make sure they get this kill. The blinded light from fear. Oh, my God. He gets out. Huge. And while that was happening, they got another kill. Bottom. And they Mika. keep on going. They've got to call a couple more spins with an arrow. Star Storm. Ooh. Doesn't have the mana for it. Had the stick charges. Oh, he got the stick off. Brax would have had the dunk. He took like, like two, I think it was at like 244 or something health. He definitely would have got Okay, wants to go. He's got Chrono. He's going to commit it for the axe here. Moose just waiting on the side of it, waiting for his arrow to cool down. The axe call comes through, but the snowball to dodge it. Very nicely played by Taiga. And so J-Storm do lose their prized axe. Meanwhile, top, Moo engaging onto Boxy. Relentless aggression from J-Storm this game. Yeah, and it's nice that they have this timber saw like because they can just leave him. You know, you just have his versus a Legion Commander in a 1v1. He's perfectly fine with after giving the great start from the Coddle being up there. So now Fear can go run around, sap some experience. They weren't really stacking too much. I think they got... I think only the TA actually stacked. Oh, no, one Coddle stack on an Ancient. And then mm. there's a TA stack afterwards. So great movements by Fear, understanding that he can just dip out of top lane and just put pressure on the sides. Well, if you wanted a good... Good start on the axe. I know our panel was talking about it. They have gotten it. Yeah. So Brax will be able to keep the, the pressure going. I'm looking forward to a lot of uh, fun chakra plays that we have in this game. We have the chakra with the axe, so the double call that can come out later on. And then the chakra with the TA is one of the bigger ones for me. You can do Roche. You keep refreshing the refraction and the um, Like uh, do melt, it really early. And they do it really early. Yeah. yeah. Even Timber 2 has its merits, you know, your double nukes that we saw in the laning phase. But Liquid are hunting, smoked up, wanting to jump. They're going to go on 9. This is a pretty deep dive, and there's an immediate response with the TP coming in. Moose is there. 9 is dead, though. Do they get a counter kill? It's only a Marana and a Keeper. So a nice rotation by Liquid, but they're going to pay for this with towers. Moo, tier 1 top, taking a beating, and it will the, be going down. They also put two sentries in tower range that got killed immediately after getting it's that very kill. Very expensive so. kill expensive. that. Yeah. Boxy gets the deny. That's big for Liquid. Bottom. Brax. Mickey getting spun on. He's One got the more dunk. spin. He's got the dunk. He won't continue. Yeah, still farming pretty well in the void, considering the nonstop pressure he's been under. But absolutely not as good as last game. It's definitely being challenged more. Battle hunger comes out. Mickey does have some tangos here. It's only a level one battle hunger. But they're gonna. You know, start aggressively farming elsewhere now. So Moo <laughs> takes over the enemy jungle. Got the two denies in Mickey's face, keeping that battle hunger active. Very nice. And a four hero rotation. They've got a chrono. They're going to walk right into Brax. Backup is here, though. Nine comes in. Mickey looking for the clean opening. Doesn't have it. Goes after Fear. Storm's going to commit. They really want this Keeper of the Light. But that's leaving Brax free to do whatever he wants on the backside. He gets the dunk, gets the kill. AA down, and now chasing for Taiga. They're probably losing both supports. Trap committed. Mickey, he's TP'd back for this. He gets off the Chronosphere. At least saves his buddy for the time being. Will end up falling, though. Brax has the call. Couldn't get it off in time. Time walks out, and now Koikva, relatively low on mana. Oh, arrow. Nice dodge. 
he's going to be fine for now. Wants to re-engage, but they're Brax, him up. Brax juking. They're going to, they have no more leaps on Moos. Gets off the Star Storm. Decent damage done onto Koikfa, but they'll just sack the Marana. And Koikfa will get a killing spree. All right. So 16 kills in 11 minutes. That's a, that's that's a lot some, of action. That's some Dota. Yeah, that's a lot of action. That Chronosphere by Mickey was uh, really optimistic. They don't have the levels coming out of the supports yet. You know the AA was in six before the Tome. You don't have Legion Commander anywhere near. Bottom lane, they're going to roll in, and they blow up Rax. That is the debut of the Ancient Apparition Ice Blast nonstop. And also looks like Moo is trying to chase out Boxy with the Chakram. Has a chain. Ooh. Off the mark. That tree is not there anymore. Does not connect. Yeah, but that was... That was uh, bottom was both the, t the tomes, right? Both tomes being eaten by the support so they can set up to kill onto Brax, which is going to be great for Taiga. Now he gets a lane for himself, too. Yeah, so Liquid are going to have that pickoff potential now. Yeah. With the Void, with the uh, AA, and, and with the, the Tusk, eventually perhaps even the Legion, so... Plenty of ways to set up an Ice Blast. I noticed something a bit interesting, too, on the Legion. Uh, I'm not sure if this was a mistake or if we have to ask him, but he has Tranquil Boots. Huh. Why do you think Tranquil Boots? Because he accidentally built them. Okay. That's a, that's a painful blunder if it is the case. I don't know. what. That, I think he had boots and a Windlace, and he was going to complete Soul Ring or something, and it gave him that. That's that's my that's what I think happened. I don't know. Triangle boots for me are always a bit of a weird one when you're a hero that gets hit a lot and you're hitting. Yeah. Normally want to see the phase. Yeah, or even try. I mean, you're tried, yeah. Either way, we won't look at it. Action mid. Mickey jumping in. Going on to nine. The snowball comes through. They don't connect on the shark. The ice blast also going to miss. Whoa. Now Moose comes in. He eats the punch. He eats the ice blast. He takes an unnecessary bullet as nine was out of there. But the trade... Might be Tiger. No, Tiger's gonna live. They are getting another tower though. Moo and Brax combining. So two tier ones down, both side lanes compromised. Axe Blink coming soon. He's up to 1700 gold. That's gonna be pretty huge. He's gonna be able to constantly set up for kills around the map when I feel like Liquid, they're gonna be a little bit less so able to because Boxy's not Boxy's not itemizing for the pickoff. As we've seen a lot of Legions not really do. You itemize just for like the team fight and you play around press the attack and you just press your core. Are the tranquil boots irking you? <laughs> <laughs> if they irk me. <laughs> I'm clicking on them to see if they're still real. It happens. I, I, we've seen a couple people do that before. And I think every time we've asked a pro about it, they've been like, yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. That's the only reason why I assume that he didn't. Oh, they're rotating. They're going to take this fight top. Liquid, they might have bit off more than they can chew. Smoke here. Mickey's so hunting, but Brax is lurking in a very, very deep spot. And here comes the TP. TA's there. She got off the refraction before this started. So they're going to have to commit a lot if they want to even hope to kill her. Instead, the trap is sprung. They're on to Boxy now. Brax and Moo trying to finish him off. Chasing after the H Apparition as well. They'd like to get multiple kills here. Chain forward. Oh, the damage. That's what you like to see. And they get the catch on Boxy. So it's going to be two and a Chrono for basically nothing. Some power damage, I suppose. Big mistakes there from Liquid. Not, I guess, maybe not expecting j -Storm to all be set up there, but they knew. They had the ward down. They had all the information. Oh, well, that's your blink on Brax. Yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier for them to set up. And Mu is this super strong frontliner at the moment that doesn't really have much of a response. Should they have the AA, but just getting through his sheer HP is a problem right now, not the regen. So if you're J Storm, you've got a really nice early lead here. Are you just constantly battling and, and pushing, taking fights? Yeah, I think you've got great vision. Actually, I think when you get Death's OTA, you can just force a Roche. You've got this Will-O-Wisp that can guard the area. You've got the Blinding Light. You've got Axe with a Blink Dagger. And you have Vision already in the Brax most important spot. Catching out Insania, I believe, was trying to TP. Well, he'll get a trip back to the Fountain, but not the one he was hoping for. Nice catch. Nice kill. Meanwhile, bounties are spawning. Koikfa's going to grab one. He is Ooh. hunting. Standing on a Maybe trap. trying he's to contest this TA. He saw some low Ancient, so he's probably like TA's healing or elsewhere, obviously. Yeah, but she's got the Deso now. Yeah, she's very, very strong. And they're looking to go again on the top lane. Boxy is scurrying up north, heading for the hills. 
He's just going for full armor items, it looks like. Yeah, Buckler into a medallion. Solar Abraxas is going to... Oh, he found him. Didn't actually get the call, but forced Boxy to cancel his own TP, and now they can chase. Coming in from behind his fear. Can blast him back, set up Rax. Give him that call. Just needs to get a little bit closer. Chain coming through. Chakram as well. The slow, the call, and the kill. Everything for J Storm And nine. Hunting. Deso is arriving. Is it just right in the pit now? I think they could, yeah. I think you can just like arrow in and then Fury just throw a constant chakras. Right now he's gonna clean up this next ancient, but they already have they have this great ward down, which is the big indicator for me that they could easily go for that Roche. Maybe they want to protect the ward though. Maybe they look for one more kill or so into going for that Roche. Oh, the caught out Taiga. He's in trouble. Does roll his way in, but can he make his way back out? It looks like Brax wants to go on this, but Nine's playing rather safe. He's respecting that potential Chronosphere rotation. Though they do see the Void top, so... Arrow. Whoop. But it'll be fine. But it hit. It looked nice. Very sexy. Not for Liquid, though. Nothing sexy about the way this game has gone. No, Quake for extremely far behind in this one. It not even finished. He's about to have the Kaya finished up, and they just lost their third Tier 1. So access to Roshi even harder now. Jay Storm, they're just going straight for Tier 2s. Yep. The whole squad on Liquid is up, and they don't care. Ice Blast cooling down. No mana on Insania, though. He might have to go back to Fountain just to get this off. Yeah, this might actually just be the better play. You're getting more map control out of it. You're not risking anything. Oh, you're getting a call, too. Sets up the arrow, drags him away from the creep. Snowball dodge, very nice. Uh, will o -Wisp, though. Follow-up's there from nine. Scores the kill. The tower's going to be next. Ice Blast does connect on two, but they don't really want to fight as uh, Mu. Gonna be building a completed bloodstone at 17 minutes. Uh oh, Mickey. They're looking for him. The Bash Bros are onto him. Brax is there fear. with the battle hunger. Fear as well. Blinding light back into a call chain combo. Can they burst this void down? Oh, he gets the Bash. Walk away. But, well, Another man. call. All right. Give him the chop. Really and meanwhile, Quick for bottom lane. He's almost out of mana. He's gonna go for the TP. He ain't gonna make oh, it. Oh, man. Nine slays him. And this, that is really the story of this game. This is that Seb clip, you know, slay, slay, slay of your J Storm. Yeah, definitely. They're, yeah, they're able to just set up so much with how well, I think Big Parker was the big one who said it, right? Like, have Brax have a good lane start and he can just cruise, run around the map, killing pretty much everybody. He's 8, 3, and 5. He's 13 of the 15 kills that they have found so far is because of him with his movements and his start. All started bottom with those early kills on Insania, and then it's yep. just snowballed ever since. Yeah, and this Shocker combo with Berserker Call is so absurd. You call, you get Shockered, you call again. It's just <laughs> that. It's six and a half seconds of Disable. Yeah. Taiga TPing out. Brax. Oh. It's close. Close. And Fear is just a mana bot, so his... his Compadres don't need to ever go back to base or anything like that. He just walks around, keeps chakraing them, so they keep their presence on the map constantly. So for Liquid, like, obviously this is a great late game lineup if they can get there. They've got Storm, they've got Void, they have good pickoff potential. You just, do you just look to split push and kind of dodge fights? Are you trying to, like, smoke and force engagements? What's your game plan to get back into this? Um, I think at the moment they can just play this to like sit back and farm. I don't need to push their lanes out, so I think them farming is okay. And I think, yeah, like you said, I think the late game just highly benefits them. So I think just read the map, defensive wards, and if you see them start to clump up, you can look to take a fight. Like just get your void in a good spot. You have to try to catch this back line though. Like the coddle, it may you may like. I feel like people always think it's like he, he doesn't do that much, but coddle does. It's just insane how much impact that hero does have. It's hard to get to him when yeah. you got a timber and an axe all up in your grill. But you do have a storm. That so is true. You should have ways to at least pierce through. And they do have counter engage. They do have this, uh, you know, the tusk snowball, which I think is really important for Taiga. He's not really having, you know, like a blink dagger early on on this hero, but if he's able to get in position to get those, he can turn the tides a bit too. They also have that dispel that can come up from the Legion. So a couple different little factors for Liquid that could turn things. As, oh, that's the go for Roche. DD outside the pit. <laughs> nice. Nine will take it. And Liquid do not seem like they're going to be contesting this one. Ice Blast. Too fast. Coming in, but the DD makes it way too quick. They're not even shockering to double up the melds that we saw some teams do. 
Yeah, Liquid will just take this moment to farm a wee bit more, but they have no interest in contesting this. Now even more so. Sit back and kind of just farm. Hope you can get some pickoffs uh, for this side of Liquid. Get those lanes pushed out, more, most importantly, so that J-Stone can't just start knocking on your tier 2's bottom and top. How do you feel about this? Mickey going for the Shadow Blade. I imagine eventually the Silver Edge for the Timber Saw. Yeah, I did. I saw him queued it up. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to finish it. That's not a very common point pickup. So maybe they're going to actually just play for the split push and try to catch people who go to react to it. And then also eventually it'll build into a silver. It'll build into that silver edge. Hmm. Not sure. Does mean he's not team fighting. You know, like BKB obviously not a game winner this time around. There's still the call. There's the physical damage from TA, but would definitely help you survive in these team fights. Yeah, I think they're just they're feeling a little bit afraid as they, as they well should be in this game. And just going to be playing more of that like split push, try to farm, try to catch back up because they're just, yeah, it's such a deficit. Blink call. As jump finds Quake, but this is a big one. Look for the double call. Don't Look even for the need dunk. It. <laughs> screw that, screw that extra call. No need. That ganking combo is devastating. Yeah. It's a lot of damage that comes out also from Moose. Like even the Mirana, 3, 4, and 12, he's having a really good game. 15 of the 16 kills has been participated with Moose. And he's got a Vessel. So this is a really good item to pick up. Particular versus that Void. Moonlight Shadow rotation. Chase Storm hunting. Yeah, Mickey is just playing enemy woods. So he wants nothing to do with this Chase Storm squad right now. Yeah, they're on trying, attempted at recovery. Yeah, you can see Taiga just with an invis and roaming over that way. <laughs> it's like, let's just, let's uh, nomadically abandon home, find a new place to call our own. Yeah. And we see there by our other, uh, one of our observers, enemy TA is level 17. So if we look at that, it's a very high level TA compared to everybody else. The next highest level is like 14s on the side of Liquid. Well, on the side of Liquid. And he didn't have a great start either. You know, gave up that solo kill to the Storm early on. Mm. But, oh, how the tides have turned. Ancients, yeah. Just got a couple Ancient stacks and a couple kills and Templar Assassin. BKB Blink finished with that Deso. They did almost lose their Courier, I think, to the Void. But barely survives, delivers the pipe for Mu. J-Storm might force the issue here. Time to go high ground? I do think they could. BKB, Blink, Pipe. They've, they've got the tools to build to try. I don't see why they wouldn't at least force a reaction. Oh, you see the Shadow Blade build on Void. You're thinking, they don't want to fight. We're going to take it to them. Yeah. Like, pipe, look at this. Like, how do they? This is a 70 health per second Timber Saw. Smoke up by Liquid. Got to do something. What's the initiation going to be? Koikfa is trying to find that backline that you talked about, but the backline is smoked, and I mean, here look comes at, the pause. Look at Mika's positioning on the minimap, too. The Void is all the way in the back trying to find this, so. So they have, to, they have a sentry, but it's not in the best position. He they could, want this coddle. He could and they found catch him. them. They're going to jump it with the instant call. Koikva getting caught by the Ignis. He's going to pop instantly. <laughs> Mickey comes in, though, has the Chronosphere. He catches out two. I don't think he's killing this Marana quickly. He's going to have to commit everything for it. Legion gives him the attack speed, just doesn't have the damage. It's a buyback recommitment from three heroes on Liquid. Mickey's still going to go down. Is he going to buy back as well? Not sure it matters. Man. They threw everything in the kitchen sink and nine the last man standing as far as damage goes, dishing it out that fight. It's like 4,400 damage. I mean, that's when you're sitting there as fear and you're like, got me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. You got me. <laughs> but no, like, that, uh, they did it the right way. They got the wraparound probably, but they were, you could see how prepared Jason was. Brax was instant on that blink call. Even though it was still safe, like the snowball, I believe, grabbed Koikva immediately, but it didn't matter. It, it, was, it was already enough time for them to bring down the burst. And Mike, he does not have the damage to go for these type of chrono plays. Even though I think he got pressed the attack at the end, too. Yeah, he's but still it was, it was so towards soft. the end of the chrono. Yeah. At best, maybe he gets the Marana kill, yep. which would not have won them the fight. But then he overcommits a little bit, trying to get ambitious for the Marana, and just gets spirit vesseled and turned on. Well, that's going to even further delay Liquid's hopes of taking a big team fight. 20 uh, Bloodstone charges here on Mu. Pipe complete. Very God. tanky. How do they catch? Oh, man. Catching up this storm, catching up this void is definitely a big problem. They're just they're so far behind. And 
I don't think the J-Storm's really going to give them too much leniency, too much breathing room at all. I feel like if I, if I was in their position, I'd be like, let's just stick together. You don't get picked up by any Chronos, picked up by the Storm with an AA Blast, and you can just look to end it. You've got Mech, I believe, coming too. So Mech, Pipe, BKBs, you're fully ready to go for the push. They're going to head back bottom. They just lost their Aegis, so if there was ever a window of opportunity, it is right now. But Chrono is still cooling down for 25 seconds. So J-Storm moving in, working on the melee racks. Storm just going to try to shove out that mid lane first. Now the call. Quick initiation on Boxy. Nine is there. The follow-up comes through. Ooh. Dead. 80 seconds. Still too. waiting on the Void Chrono. It's going to be too late. They'll There's lose Arax. They're probably losing Trines next. I mean, yeah, And, and Jay Storm are just saying they can't fight us even with their cooldowns. There's no Legion. And even if there were, I'm not sure it would matter. Moose already rotated mid. Knight's going to finish off the range. They're going to try to end this game before 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, Moose at 80 HP per second. Look at this. No cares. Takes the reactive armor stacks as well, since they're tanking. This, this I is mean, a Mickey's set. Mickey's trying to backdoor tier ones. J Storm are coming for your base. You got to do something. They're waiting I don't for Quick Fizz Orchid. Something is. Quick Fizz Orchid is about oh, look eighty at this. gold away. But look it's at this. There's a moonlight shadow arrow in the river. Oh, just gonna miss. And even if the, I guess even if they hit the void, he's still gonna get away. But yeah, they've lost their base. Two lanes, two melees. J Storm are hunting. They want to get this void too, but the ward is going to scout them out. And yeah, they recognize there's just no way they can fight Quakefoot. Trying to cut this mid wave, heavy amount of TPs. He knows something's up. Fear with the TP out. Snowball. Oh, it's just going to clip him. I think the TP might have completed time. Would have been close, but in any case, Mickey there to look to finish him up. But Brax with the big save comes in with the call. Gets off the battle hunger. The follow up call comes through. Fear with the distant shock room. Dunk. Oh, rims out. Mickey has the, the chrono. Is this the opening? Is this the opening? Oh, no. They may toast him. They're controlling him. Here comes the call. Round number three. And this one, the death of Mickey. Three heroes dead. No buybacks. Make it four. The end is upon Liquid as J Storm cleanly move over to that top lane. Oh, Koikfa had his Orchid gold. But Nine shows up with his own Orchid because he's snowballed like crazy on TA already that he has an Orchid as well on top and easily gets the solo kill as they, yeah, clean up that last Rex. And this is looking in the books. Man, two very stompy games in a row. Game one just felt like there was no hope for J-Storm, almost based on the draft. Game two, you know, obviously Liquid's draft looks pretty well-rounded, but they just got run over in the lanes. Yeah, this bottom lane went, I mean, all the lanes went great, right? Mid lane, Nine. It still went pretty even, I would say. He, and then he just backs up and farms stacks. Fear had some super clutch early game moves. I felt like he saved a couple people with these that blinding one, lights. Uh, that one blinding light mid, yeah. where it like, knocked them to the low ground, that was huge. So it's now Mega Creeps, <laughs> sub 30 minutes. And Liquid not ready to call the GG. They will fight on for now. I think they maybe just, I don't see a way back in this This one is where them. you're strategizing for game three, perhaps. Yeah. I don't, they don't have the heroes to keep the waves out. I mean, Mjolnir is finished on the Void, so he can, but yeah, the rest of them is pretty impossible. So they're just going to look for a fight. If they 5-0 wipe, then maybe they, they're just going to be like, all right, let's go. 5-0 wipe, you're probably looking at like a 8k gold swing or something. Yeah, so maybe, yeah. That could do like it. That. Mickey is going to run into Moo initially. He's actually got a three hero chrono right now. He gets Ooh. it off too with okay. the Ice Blast. Is this the opening that Liquid have been waiting for a whole game long? Moo is the pipe. He can't get it off. Oh He's going to go down in double buyback instantly, but the rest of the squad joins. Nine moving in, drops the trap. Oh. Does catch two on the high ground, looking for Insania, trying to finish him off, but his BKB is committed. He may have overextended, not respecting them here on the high ground. Go Scepter by Taiga. They're working on him. They're working on him. They're going to get the TA2. That's three heroes finished off. Liquid did lose three of their own. Void dead, Storm dead, AA dead. Obviously, on paper, a win for Liquid as far as gold goes, but now the base is in jeopardy. They're just going straight in. Yeah, they can just look to climb. They can just look to end it. Nine even buying back aggressively. Throne time. Yeah, no Chrono, no Storm, no AA. Still got about 15 seconds, and these are these are not regular creeps. These are Mega Creeps. Oh, Mega time walking dangerously right through the arrow. Boxy. Boxy Try. also backing off. Moo just says, let's kill buildings, guys. Buildings are the goal here. Ignis as they snowball their way out of it, but also deep behind enemy lines. Taiga trying to make it back one direction. Boxy dragging them the other, but the creeps 
are just working on these buildings. Mickey so dangerously low. With the Mjolnir, tries to keep the base up. The creeps keep on marching in. Mickey gets ensnared, and the GG is called. A stomp into a counter stomp, and we're going to a game three. Yeah, this one, J-Storm looks to have a, I mean, infinitely better draft across the board. I think just everything. They can actually make aggressive plays. They have nine on a hero that I feel like, I know he plays Viper, but this looks much more comfortable for him. Like he can just kind of, I mean, it's a natural hero that's just good. Viper, I feel like is this like kind of just mediocre hero in the game at the moment. And yeah, you have Mu on his best hero, period. His name for Saw. Well, decisive win. Seems like we have two very different styles. You know, Liquid want to have this big team fight, really strong mid and late game, mm -hmm. play more of the farm, you know, slow pace battle. J-Storm, they just want to take the fight to Liquid early and often. So which style is going to prevail in game three? Not sure, but this one was pretty hot by them, so. Yeah, so we'll try to f see if our panel has some answers for us. Who's taking the series? Shiver, good win here by J-Storm. Great win here by J-Storm. They looked on a fire. Now, I do need to point out that the start didn't look that hot, especially not for nine. Uh, and I want to start there because we were we were watching that as like, well, you know, that mid that, <laughs> that matchup at some point, I think Storm was eight and five last hit denies and uh, TA just, just got her first last hit. How did he recover so well? I'm very shocked. Uh, TA, <laughs> TA things, you get those stacks in the jungle. We saw it a bit earlier today, uh, TNC, their TA. Um, I think the m they weren't losing the lane that badly, but <laughs> it was yes. still like this TA suddenly snowballed out of control because of some stacks, and you get this fast Deso blink. If you're not contesting the jungle of the TA, which it's kind of hard to do because TA jungles earlier than almost any other hero, um, you know, that, that hero just skyrockets. I'm yeah. just impressed that she was able to find it because it seemed like with the tri lane of the Axe, Mirana, and the Caudal, mm. who's going to have time to stack for the Templar Assassin? Because they were also doing fairly yeah. well in that tri lane. They were. I thought it was a great decision to go for that tri lane because I do think if Axe was sent there to just cut waves all the time, he was going to get destroyed by the Tusk and the Ancient Apparition. Yes. And Brax was the player yeah, we talked about. He needs to have a good game because he's, he's the catch. He's the only real way to be a playmaker in the, the mid game. Ultimately, he did have a good game and was involved in a huge portion of their kills uh, for at least the early to mid game until Nine started just solo killing people around the map and other crazy stuff started happening. Yeah, yeah. it was a it was a funky game. I mean, if you compare the two games, it was like a world apart. Yeah, yes. and I don't think there's much that either team could really learn from no. either well, of them either. Well, you say that, but you also have been saying during the draft every time you know you want to see more variety from yeah. jay storm mm -hmm. and they haven't really shown it mm -hmm. and this game they didn't show it either uh, they go back to the mood timber saw right. and it just proves like he is really good in those heroes that he plays um but i think what you can learn from this game is maybe it's time for a ban on the timber saw if you're liquid. Ban on the Timber Saw, maybe don't prioritize the Ancient Apparition so highly. I don't sure. think that's necessarily first phase material. It was great in game one because it won, but mm. I don't I don't think AA did anything that was unique to that hero that other supports couldn't do. That I, I don't think Undying's been being picked very much, and that used yeah. to be what they were running in the group stage. So, mm. Mm. I think they also mm. just played their lane really badly. Like, AA died multiple times yes. like right off the bat and that gave Axis way better lane because initially it was like kind of a 2v3 lane. Mirana mm -hmm. wasn't there uh, from the very get-go. Was no, it yeah, one, yeah, one, yeah, they ca the tri lane came later. Yeah. So yeah. Um, the fact they could get kills and often we're getting kills in like these 2v3 settings. Yeah, Brax was dying but he, he was still getting so much out of the lane. So. Yeah. And then yeah. also Boxy ended up building Tranquil Boots. <laughs> yes. Probably did not help their uh, cause. <laughs> no. Yeah. no okay. Not something intended. <laughs> but you know when you do that because I, I was it you that said like when are you gonna get rid of it? Because you know you you yeah. can't you're not gonna sell your tranquil boots Probably just not. to buy different boots. You're just gonna accept your loss and move on. Yeah, I guess. But you'd still come out ahead with brown boots and money, right? You'd have roughly, right? roughly, yeah, 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 a little bit more. Okay, I think you'd have like two hundred gold more. Okay. Yeah, but would you rather have tranquil g boots and no money, or brown boots and? 200 uh, gold. I would rather have the brown boots. Really? 200 gold? 200 gold? <laughs> I literally saw the trinkles on cooldown every single time. If you're like, you're a legion time. commander, <laughs> and you're like, you're getting this one time off, or either I give you 200 gold right now, or I give you tranquil boots, you're like, 200 gold, please! Hmm. When you put it like that, <laughs> <laughs> what if what if my support was, uh, what, if, what if I told my support, I'll buy you two wards. I'll buy you two sentry wards. Dude, that's, that's, dude, that's a rip-off. That's 150 gold. 
Obs are 75. I thought it's Obs are 50. Obs are 50. When you're right. do you buy my bad. horse? My bad. Oh <laughs> my not, God. not a support I'm player. I buy horse all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> the truth comes out. Oh God. <laughs> like, that's a very poor deal. Yeah. <laughs> the smokes are like the 150 gold, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh. So, yeah, I, well, well, you know, unfortunate from the tranquil boots, but yeah. I don't think that's Small the reason up. why they yeah. lost. No. Not at all. That no. didn't have anything really to do with it in the end. I, I wasn't sold in the storm pick. It didn't. No. I don't. I think it was too slow paced hero when you already have void who gives you this long cooldown to play around in the chronosphere, and then you pick a kind of greedier mid. Um, don't think that worked out too well for them. Um, I also just feel like storm is maybe in a bit of a weak place, but it also may just be the strat. You know, they want some storm buffs. They they love their storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, um, I lost after I won yeah. mid so definitively. Exactly. Uh, you know, Quake then Blitz are going to preach night Strong like. Storm kind of sucks, you yeah. know? Yeah, no, Show them some love. They look, at that, uh, they look at that 33 Chen game, they're like, yo, take away the magic resistance on neutral mm -hmm. creeps, right? They're, you know, yeah. that's the way that should happen. <laughs> yes. It's not so my Storm could farm the jungle they're any better. They're playing the long exactly, game. Exactly, the long mm -hmm. con. They're in it for a TI. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Saving if they strats. can make sure that over the next couple of months, yeah. over the next Shh. half year, <laughs> what's, what's going to happen? They'll remove the magic resistance and replace it with like a stacking armor to nerf TA because <laughs> TA won the game. So she clears Stacks. Mm. What does that armor resistance, uh, the magic resistance, do against TA? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. They need some stacking buckler. Fog effect or said something. Yeah. They, the creep should have status resistance, and I was like, I don't really think that solves the issue of why that was added in the first place, but oh, it would be yeah. hilarious. I mean, may because that's partly why TA can farm ancient sex is the traps. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And then they walk. Yeah. Yeah. They just waddle around. You take zero damage. Yeah. Not even because of refraction. So then so. maybe status resistance. Sure. Yeah. I'm down. All right. We all love sure. status resistance in Toad too, right? <laughs> <laughs> One of our favorite mechanics. I have no problems with status resist. <laughs> really? Even the tiny arrow status resistance? Uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting. It was interesting. Yeah, I'll give you uh, that. Yeah, I that was not fun. I thought it was cool. There was just one hero in the game that just didn't <laughs> get stunned. <laughs> didn't just one hero in the game anything. that like you just balance that hero to make, massacred make it your okay. muscle memory. Yep. yep. Great. Now, well, now it's like every hero can mess with you. Yeah. Because in the past it was like you just it was just like oh well tiny you know stuns don't work on him now it's like any hero with satanic you don't know how right. long your stuns are gonna last. Yeah, it's true. Well, I guess you have the little bar above the head. Imagine if this was like because bef that only got added like what four or five years ago maybe. Yeah, it was a late addition. Yeah, if yeah. status resist got added before that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. How would you play Dota <laughs> without the stun bar? My skill seal, my skill ceiling. Yeah. That's, just what, I mean that's what people said when they added this yeah. the stun that's bar. <laughs> like too easy. <laughs> yeah. Too yeah. easy. Stacking stuns Please. is the easiest thing ever now. Yeah. Which is still not done. Yeah. To be honest, I know there's a stun bar, but I don't really see it when I'm in a team fight. Mm. I don't think anybody does because that's not what you're looking at. It's more in gank I situations, think. like if you're like in in that game, like Marana Axe. I'm sure mm. Marana's waiting for the arrow until the axe call taunt starts timing out. Sure. Yeah, I totally do that rather of than course. just <laughs> <laughs> trying to do it on instinct. <laughs> Too busy focused on those 50 gold wards, am well, I right? For example, the only thing like with, with the OD, if you ask for imprisonment, I still look at yeah, the little ball that yeah. expands rather than the bar taking right. down. So uh, I don't know how much that bar actually helps, but I'm sure it helps a lot of players. Mm -hmm. so, so, all right. Uh, that's, we're getting off topic, though. We had two games. They were very one-sided, and they... I must say, game two was a lot more exciting to watch than game one. Yes. So in terms of that, we're having an upward trajectory for exciting games. Okay. Yep. Which should mean that game three has it all. It has the excitement, and it's even, and it has action, everything you want and more after the break.